Pokemon fan games, while they're great, aren't usually much more than really fun passion projects. Sure, there are games like Reborn and Rejuvenation that go above and beyond to deliver an insane amount of content, but most of the time, a single fan game isn't going to fulfill all of your hopes and dreams. So if I told you that there is one that makes every battle enjoyable, you might think of it as a game like Poke Rogue or Radical Red, where only the battles are focused on. Well, that's actually not the case. In this video, I'll be showing a fan game called Pokemon Tectonic that not only makes every battle fun, but also reworks every Pokemon and move, as well as provide a new region to explore. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The main gimmick of Pokemon Tectonic is the improvements made to the battle system. Now, what I'm about to talk about might sound a bit overwhelming, but I promise that the game takes steps to make sure it isn't, and I'll explain that later. First of all, every single Pokemon has received massive changes. From base stat changes, new learnable moves, type and ability changes, you'll be able to use your favorite Pokemon in a way that feels like you've never used them before. To take it a step further, some Pokemon have even had their Mega Evolution or Dynamax form tied on as an additional permanent evolution. Meaning, yes, some Pokemon can evolve three times. Additionally, stat changes have been changed to stat steps, which are basically just the normal stat changes cut in half. For example, one stat step increase in attack would be an increase of 25% rather than the normal 50% you're used to. This allows for more unique status moves or additional effects to exist, which I honestly think is really cool. There's also over 500 new moves and abilities. Thanks to this, not only will almost every Pokemon feel like they have a unique ability, but they will also always have powerful moves to use in the early, mid, and late game. But before I continue, like I said, this probably sounds like a super overwhelming and unfun experience. I personally don't enjoy having a ton of changes thrown in my face with little to no explanation either. Luckily, Pokemon Tectonic has a lot of systems to combat that feeling. Right at the beginning of the game, you receive the Master Dex. Now, this isn't any ordinary Pokedex that just gives you the location, cry, and maybe a bit of info about a Pokemon. The Master Dex contains every piece of information you would want to know. Base stats, learn sets, individual move information within learn sets, weaknesses, evolution requirements, and more. Best of all, to access this information, you don't need to open the decks and scroll all the way down to find each Pokemon. You can view it from both your party and in battle. Speaking of in battle, you can even view the full Master Dex information of your opponent whether or not you own the opposing Pokemon. This is great for catching new team members as you can decide right there if you want them or not. Stat steps are also easy to track as you'll be able to view the percentage increases and decreases of each stat of each Pokemon. There are also new status effects and weather types, like the new leeching effect that replaces leech seed and the new eclipse weather that greatly benefits dragon and psychic types. But enough about the changes to the battle system, what about the actual fights themselves? Most of the trainers you'll fight in this game aren't particularly difficult, even for a casual player. However, when you win against a trainer in Pokemon Tectonic, there will be one of two outcomes. If one or more of your Pokemon faints in battle, the trainer will remain at their post and will attempt to challenge you again each time you heal at any Pokemon Center. But if you manage to win without any faints, the trainer will abandon their post and leave you with rewards. This is called perfecting a battle, which is a really nice way to turn what would normally be an easy battle into somewhat of a challenge. I personally took the time to make sure I perfected every trainer I was forced to fight, as it felt a lot more rewarding winning with my whole team alive. When it comes to gym leaders, you can choose to either battle their normal or full team. This is a nice alternative to the common difficulty mode options most games give you, especially when they don't let you swap to a harder or easier mode halfway through the game, forcing you to restart if you're frustrated or bored. If you want a casual experience, I would just pick the normal teams each time. But if you truly want to put your skills to the test, you might find perfecting every battle to be a very difficult but fun challenge. There is also a new enemy type called Avatar Pokemon. 
These Pokemon will fight you in a 1 vs 2 or 3 and have multiple health bars. Each time you deplete one of its HP bars, it will gain a stat boost and or change its type, as well as clear any status effects or debuffs it had. While this might sound unfair, you as a player get a few advantages yourself. First of all, Avatar Pokemon can have two status effects applied to them at the same time, so they could be, for example, Poison and Burned at once. Additionally, you will be able to see which of your Pokemon it will target in that turn, allowing you to properly strategize around it. If what I've talked about so far somehow isn't enough to convince you, then luckily this game also comes with a brand new region and story to explore and experience. In Pokemon Tectonic, you'll travel through the region of Machia. Starting on a small island, you're given two starters. The normal choice between grass, fire, and water, and one of three normal types that each provide a different role in battle. While these starters aren't the normal ones you're used to, like I said before, every Pokemon has received massive changes. The story, from what I played, doesn't seem like anything super special, but from everything else the game has to offer, that wasn't a very big deal for me. The region, however, was very fun to explore. From ancient ruins to mountain-covered beaches, you'll find yourself happily getting lost in these amazing locations. Each route had multiple grass types, each harboring 3-5 Pokemon, so finding that specific one was a lot easier. This also allowed for massive Pokemon diversity, making each playthrough feel different. While the clash between art styles in the overworld did feel a bit off at times, I never felt like the route I was traveling through was boring or uninteresting. And I'm thankful that the developers took the time to make a new region, rather than just slapping all of their cool battle changes onto Kanto or Hoenn like most ROM hackers do. There are a few other features I wanted to quickly mention that I didn't think fit in either of the topics I discussed. First, this game comes with a built-in randomizer, allowing you to randomize wild and trainer Pokemon, but also choose if you like them to stay equal in power. I really like this addition because while I might be in the minority here, I really don't find having a legendary as my starter to be a fun experience. Then there's the Poke Estate. When you store your Pokemon in the PC, they go to a magical place where you can view and interact with them all. Eevees and Ivies have been replaced with style points, which are adjustable values to tune your Pokemon's stats the way you want them. Potions and restoration items are no longer a resource you have to worry about. Every time you heal at the Pokemon Center, you get a few charges of your aid kit, which can be used to heal your full team and cure their status effects. If I had to give one compliment to the developers, it would definitely be about the balancing. It's obvious how much effort they put into making every Pokemon feel fun, unique, and viable throughout the whole game. I personally really liked my time playing this game, and I suggest you give it a try as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to continue making videos about fan games and ROM hacks I find interesting. I hope you have a nice day, and goodbye!